to this moment holding out for some hi you guys welcome back to my channel i'm your girl Lorna marie today for you i'm bringing you part two of last week's video which was my diaper bag video so if you're interested in seeing what was inside my diaper bag i'll be linking it down below for you guys now this is part two which has all of my on the go bags i call it my diapering bag system but honestly it doesn't even have to be um, for diapers or anything like that. This is just a system that I use inside of my car or in the house in a container and I'll go over all of that a little bit later on but this is my system and if you guys want to see any of the links to these products that will also be listed down below. If you're new here welcome subscribe and hit that little bell so you guys are notified. I do a lot of lifestyle mommy Disney and speaking of Disney I just started a new Instagram for all Disney exclusive information. All the things Disney will be on that page so if you guys are interested. I will still be posting all videos that are Disney here to this channel but anything in Instagram and stories and all that will be on that page there. So also I have a travel channel. I don't know if you guys know that, but me and my husband started a travel channel because we full-time RV. So we're always in an RV traveling and exploring. So if you guys want to follow our adventures, check that out also. All of the information and links will be down below for you guys. Now also, I would love to know what is your favorite bag or system or what do you guys like to do to stay organized? Do you guys use a bag system? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. And without further ado, I will be showing you everything that's inside of these bags. Okay, so I think what I wanna do is start left to right and go through each one of the bags. So first of all, we're gonna start off with our sweatshirt bag. Now this is obviously self-explanatory, but if you're really detail oriented like I am and you're into organization, I'm gonna go over a couple of the features and why I like it and what's important to me about it. So for me, I like something like a pouch type of thing that compresses, okay? These are from Daiso, but I will link some other ones. They're very, very similar on Amazon and I've used them before, okay? So I like things to be compressed. Um, this one has a little hook. I'm pretty sure the ones on Amazon don't have that. So if you have a Daiso, definitely check these out. If you don't, I'll link some ones that I use for everything um, down below. I literally just have this one from Daiso. I just, this is the one I could find. So um, yeah, whatever works for you guys. Honestly, it doesn't even matter. So. I also, like I showed you guys, we have labels on the top and the bottom and each kid, I'll just show you guys inside. I just try to fold it as flat as possible. I don't roll or anything like that. This bag does a pretty good job of compressing everything and that's pretty much it. That's how it goes. Okay, next up is my blanket bag. Now, there is something special about these bags and I just told everybody on Instagram about them. I've shown these before, they're in my Disneyland stroller bag video and what it is so i have two blankets inside of here that are stroller specifically for the stroller and they come in this little pouch here they come in this little pouch here and it has a hook so you can actually hook this to the stroller if you know you're going to be needing it soon um but it's got a zipper at the top and it's like those jackets like those windbreaker jackets that fold inside of themselves but it's a blanket isn't that great I absolutely love it, but not only, not only does it fold inside of itself, each of these clasps actually hook to your stroller. So it's got one on this end and then there's one on this end. So that way your stroller doesn't, that way your blanket doesn't fall. I love that because I hate when this blanket drops on the floor. It creeps me out so bad because it germs and all that. I know I'm probably a weirdo, but... So I love this feature, you guys. And honestly, you could probably hack your blankets that you have now and make little hoops. Um, maybe I should try to learn how to do that and show you guys. But if you don't wanna do a DIY, check this one out. And then I just have a second gray one in here. Okay, so next up we have our outfit bag. And I just used a packing cube, um, just like this one. They're the same, they came in a little pack here. I have a million of these you guys and I just use a clear one it's no big deal I probably honestly I'm going to be doing a whole new diapering system for Disney because I have a stroller that I really really want to show you guys I'm getting a new stroller so stay tuned for that it definitely won't be my next video it's going to be a huge project undertaking so anyways um 
in this bag, I like to, on the front, put what belongs inside. So we always can keep inventory. And if I tell my older kids or my husband, like, hey, go refill the outfit bag, they know each kid needs one outfit, each kid needs one pair of underwear, and each kid needs one pair of socks. I like to have socks because if they get wet or whatever, but also if we go to those like bounce house places, they always require socks. So I like to keep socks on me. But basically, I just stack everything on top of each other. I don't really do anything special as far as like the way that I pack it and everything just stays nice in here and I just love packing cubes can press everything so even if it's really really tight it all just stays really compressed and I love that okay so I'm gonna move which I'm gonna show you guys first let's do that one first okay these two are the most extensive so I wanted to get the other ones out of the way and we're gonna show you what's inside of this bag So on the top here, it says entertainment bag. I love how it like fits perfectly right there. And I got this from Target, which I'm obsessed with this. I'm honestly probably gonna go back and get maybe a couple other ones for actual toiletries and whatever else, just because I love the organization on the inside. You guys know, like if it's got the organization, I'm, I'm all about it. Okay, so what I love about this is it has a flap like a book, but also it has these clear pouches right here. So in this first one, I just keep all of their little markers and crayons. And I like bringing these crayons because the ones at the place, my kids, I don't know if they're rough or whatever, but they always break them. And I like bringing markers and pens. The kids like to have pens because I'll show you back here, but we have a little art thing that they like to have. So definitely like to keep our own art supply on us. Okay, next up, this is kind of unique and fun and super easy and it inexpensive but I have these little bags and I'm gonna break them down even smaller I'm probably only gonna do like 10 beads and for the babies I'll probably do like five no I'll probably do 10 beads for the babies too I make little packets so I'm gonna break these down further like I said but you do pipe cleaners and they string the pipe cleaners through these and it's so much fun and it's time-consuming and the kids just love it so and if they need more beads I just keep handing them beads and honestly you can sit there and hand them one at a time while you're on your phone at the table or have your kids do it and I don't know this is just a fun project that they like to do you have to be careful though obviously if they're really small you don't want to give them choking hazards but they roll everywhere so I mean it just depends on how old your kids are but we love having those on us so in this pouch it was for brushes but we like to keep different things um, we love wiki sticks wiki sticks I don't know how do you pronounce that but um, they stick together and they can mold them and do all kinds of fun stuff you can get these in packs I'll link it down below as well as everything else um, from Amazon. So they have like a pack of 20. They even have bigger packs, but my kids love these. They stick to things. They're so much fun. Okay, so next up we have finger puppets. My kids are obsessed with these. So they just go on your finger and they fit better for kids, but they go on your finger and they do like little puppet shows or whatever and my kids love these i'll link some more i don't know if they have this exact one i think this was like the barnyard one but i'm sure they have different ones on amazon okay window clings so if i'm in the car we're waiting for my husband and i want to do some work or i'm in my phone and doing some work these are great i unbuckle the kids and let them go to town on the windows <laughs> that sounds kind of crazy but obviously it's not messy and you can pull them down so the sun won't ruin them. But yeah, it's they're so much fun. You can bring these on the airplane, even though it kind of creeps me out. I sanitize everything before that, but we love using window clings. So next up in here, my kids love this. This is what the pens are for. It's the spirograph. You can help your little toddlers do it too, but my big kids are the ones that are obsessed with it. So this is just a little travel tin. They have giant sets you can do. Um, this comes with a little pad of paper. And then it comes with a little set. Now there's a pen missing out of here, but there's all kinds of different little shapes and things that they can use. And they honestly love this so, so much. So I keep that in here and it's really skinny, so I don't feel like it does any harm being in there. Fits perfectly. And then paper airplanes. Now my sons are obsessed, like obsessed with paper airplanes. So it comes with a book that tells you how and all of these, let me open it up. I keep it in this Ziploc bag, but it comes with these little clips. 
um, they go on the end and help it fly, but it comes with all these different colors and sheets of paper and a book on how to do it. So all those instructions. So I keep that in a little Ziploc bag, nothing fancy. And I'm pretty sure I got these from Amazon or something. I'm not sure where I got these exactly, but I have so many of them. So I don't know if I got them on sale somewhere, but they're, it's basically like an activity book. Let me open one up. I hope I can find these now that I'm showing you them. Comment down below if you guys know where these are from, because I really don't remember. So these are fun with stickers. I think Amazon, I really do. And then they peel all the little stickers off and there's a scenery here. And my kids love these. And I'm pretty sure these are the reusable ones so they can peel them and reuse them. But yeah, they love these. All right, next up is the hair bag, which I'm so excited about this. Now this bag is from Target. So I'll link that for you guys. You can find a bunch of the similar ones on Amazon, but I like this one in particular because of the pockets that it has. So I am zoomed in a little bit so I can show you guys better, but let's start at the top here and then work our way up. So I have different like hair ties and accessories up here in this little pouch which makes it so nice. I bought this, they come like this, these little bobby pin holder things. I'm sure you guys have seen this before, um, but I love that just the top slides and you can easily access the bobby pins. So this little holder, which I know my organization friends that love containers like me are gonna be like, where's that container from, right? Isn't this so fun? So this is actually, I should go get them and show you guys, but I always have straws I showed you guys my straw, but I always have straws and I just bought these new ones for the kids and they come in a pack of four of these containers. So I stuffed two in one container and then now I had two extra containers that I could use forever for whatever I wanted. So I put little clips in here and I just keep like little fun things for the girls. Um, I usually have two inside of here because I have two daughters, but I just have one in here because we used one. And then I just keep our hair ties on the side here, nothing special. So next up in the center piece here, um, I have extra bows. I like having bows on us. Like these are more neutral, like a dark blue, a silver and a gold. Let me show you guys these. I have a bin that I'm organizing right now for all of our at home hair supplies. Let me know in the comments below if that's something you'd be interested in, but it's a three tiered stacking thing. And I just love it because I can carry it around the house with me. Um, and we have a lot of hair products. <laughs> so Anyways, these are some of the bows. We love these and they're sparkly and these are like big and oh my gosh, they're so much fun. And they look so cute in the girl's hair. So I like to just stick a few of these in here. We rotate them out if we need to. Okay, so next up is the sauce. That's what we call it. <laughs> we have a thing of gel here. I bought a set of these travel things on Amazon. I'll link those for you, but I just labeled everything with this super pretty purple pastel label. It's one of the ones I got in a set, so I know everybody's gonna be like, oh my God, it's not pink, but I still have my pink stuff in here. <laughs> and then this is hairspray. I actually have to refill this. And then this one is water. So we just put water inside of here um, because you know, when you're spraying the girl's hair, you want it to, the gel to work a little bit better. I like putting water. Okay. So those all go in there. And then next up is this last area here, which is one large zipper thing all the way across. Now I like keeping a little thing of lotion in here because while I'm doing their hair, I make them put lotion on. I know that sounds weird, but I do my boy's hair out of here, my girl's hair out of here, and I'll put, if it's my babies, they won't do a very good job, but um, I'll have the big kids help with that. Then I have these clear elastics, which, I need these. I just started learning how to do some really fun hairstyles. Maybe I'll show you guys some on Instagram, but I learned from my friend on Instagram and it's been so much fun. So I like having those on me. I just stuck a sticker on here just to make it look cuter. I have another bow that I stuck in there, a black one. And then I have dry shampoo. This is for me. I like to have this on the go just in case. So I stick that in there as well. Then we have a clip so I can clip their hair out of the way. Okay. I'll get into that a second because I'm excited about that. So then I just have these Con Air. They're small, but they're like real brushes. I feel like travel ones are not good. And this one's actually really good. 
And then I just have a smoothing brush. I feel like if you're doing girl's hair and putting hair up in a ponytail, you have to have a smoothing brush. And then this is kind of silly, but I put this in here to have the kids hold it when I'm doing their hair or whatever. You can even stick a couple of stickers, band-aids, pipe cleaners, whatever you want inside of here to keep your kids occupied. But that's what I have in here right now. Okay, then you want to take those rubber bands out of your kid's hair you need something they have one specifically for it but i just bought a seam ripper and it works so good so easy you just pop the little clear hair ties and it works so good so love having a seam ripper in here and then okay this is my new this is my new product that i am obsessed with this will definitely go in my amazon favorites video which hopefully will be coming soon but i don't know how i did my girl's hair without this before so I use this. My girls have fine hair and there's just certain areas when I'm doing their hair, I like to like do detailed work and smooth it over. You know how you have like one bubble, but if you use a big brush, it brushes the stuff on the side and the bubble. So it never really looks good. This one, you can actually just brush the bubble out. I am obsessed. And then it has a little comb. You can do the same thing. And I also use this for the baby hairs in the front. I've been um, kind of laying the edges, I guess is what they call it. And combing the little baby hairs down with this so you guys love 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 this you have to get this all right and that's it so here is an example of them inside of a basket um, I have a bigger one in the car and I also have, it's like a car utility tote um, that you organize stuff in, which I love using that, um, but you can use a basket. So whatever you have at home, you can use a laundry basket and it's just so nice to have your system portable and you can put it behind the seat underneath your kid's car seat, wherever it fits, you can put it in your trunk and then you just take things out and grab them as you need them. So pretend this was bigger. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like inside of a duffel bag next. So this actually fits perfectly and see how everything is still, you can still see everything. You can just stick this bag in the back of your car or you can carry the whole thing with you if you need to. You're going on a day trip and you want to have it with you and you have space in your stroller. I mean, it's just wonderful to have everything accessible and easy to read. So that is the bag example for you guys. So I want to show you guys my label maker. I have multiple label makers, but this one is so much fun and it has all these different fonts and types of labels. You can do the size so you can make sure it actually fits what you're trying to put the label for. And um, I did my little purple ones you see in this video, but this is literally, it's a little cube and it actually hooks up to an app on your phone. So it makes it super easy. You don't have to sit there and like punch everything in with those little buttons, which can get kind of annoying. I mean, I still have one that does, but um, my other one that I really, really like. Um, but this one, when I have like bigger projects and I wanna print more things or a certain size label, this is the one, you guys. You have to have this if you're an organizer or you love labels like I do, this is a must. Okay, so first of all, you wanna make sure your Bluetooth is set and ready to go and then you want to hit the app so after you decided what you want to print up then you're going to hit print it's that easy you figure out which category you ask you how many you want to print and there it goes all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my diapering bag system. I had so much fun doing this for you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell. Like I said, everything will be listed for you guys down below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And don't forget to answer that question of the day. What do you guys do for your systems or your on-the-go bags? Let us know in the comments below. And if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, leave me a travel bag emoji and let me know that you did. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And until next time, I'm always your girl, Lorna Marie. When you're with me, nothing else matters On gray days, I live in your laughter I collide with your heart and see